TV. I want to watch the TV. Please give the remote to me. I am using it right now. Don't trouble me. Go away. Bye. Infrared. This requires that sending and receiving devices must be in clear view of one another without any obstruction. Ha ha! Now will you let me watch the TV? Fine. Wildlife is our. How did you do that? It wasn't working. Tiri, this uses infrared light waves to communicate. So it works over short distances. The light like this communicates with the receiver and it works. So when you were standing there, you were blocking the signal, weren't you? Yup. Wasn't I smart? Now let me watch. What are you doing? I am trying to stop the infrared signals from reaching those headphones. Keep trying, but it won't happen. Why? It worked the last time. This isn't infrared. It's Bluetooth. I don't huh? see any Bluetooth. Oh, stop it, Miri. I mean that this technology is called Bluetooth. Really? Tell me more. So that I don't make a fool of myself again. See, this device uses radio waves to communicate with the computer. You mean like a radio? Yes, exactly. A radio uses waves which are of a different spectrum or type. Bluetooth uses radio waves that are great for short range. Short distances? How short? Well, around thirty-three feet. Ah. So that's why me hiding it wasn't working, because this technology, unlike infrared, doesn't require the devices to be in the line of sight. Yes, Mary. Hehehe. <laughs> I feel funny how you were trying to disturb the signal. Oh well, you win some or you lose some. But Tiri, I was wondering, what are the modes of wireless communication are used by computers? Well, these are the ways. Which are usually used for setting up PAN. PAN? What's that? PAN is a short for Personal Area Network, Miri. As I have told you, infrared signals and Bluetooth have limited range. Therefore, they are used for connecting devices which are close distances. For example, Bluetooth is used for connecting hands-free earphone to a cell phone or a wireless keyboard to a computer. You mean it is a network where we connect our gadgets to each other wirelessly? Exactly. PAN can also be of the devices that are connected to the internet using short distance Wi-Fi. That's really great, Tiri. But you didn't tell me other modes of wireless communication. The book mentioned one more. It was microwave communication. What's that? They are very high frequency radio waves, but because of the Earth's curvature. 
they can be used only for short distances let me guess because radio waves cannot bend similar to infrared waves absolutely so when distances are long these microwave devices have to be mounted on towers you mean like that one yup exactly so then why use it if it's so difficult to use microwave devices are great for sending data between buildings or college campuses ah good for telling me all this good i will go to the mouse hole and come